Hi guys, welcome back. It's Seth. Did your X card just crash? Do you happen to have one of these upgrade kits from Inventables? In this video, I'll show you why your X card just crashed, how to fix it, and what to look out for in the future to prevent it from crashing again. So over here on the Inventables website, after going to shop, we have X card upgrades. And it just so happens that all of these upgrades are susceptible to this inherent problem with easel. And I'll show you by opening this one. So once you open the upgrade option and you can see the price, you can add to your cart. Down here in the technical data are the installation instructions. And that's the same place where they're at on all three of those kits. And once we have this open, we can scroll down to the bottom. And that is where we have the portion where you have to change the Gerbil settings. In the case of the Z-axis upgrade kit, it's only the 102 and 3 dollar sign three settings that are changed. And what this one does, this is gonna change the steps per millimeter of your Z-axis. So when you change this, uh, it's, the default is about 188, and we're changing it to 49. So what this Z-axis upgrade kit does is it changes out the belt and pulley driven Z-axis to a direct drive version with a different uh, gear ratio. And that's why this number needs to be changed. So you follow these instructions and it tells you to change the number for 102 and also to update the number for three because you're no longer going through a belt and you're basically reversing the direction of that motor now, that it's direct drive. And that's what those two steps do. However, when you go to easel and let's say you change to a different computer or your cache is cleared out or you run a new antivirus software, or in my case, you can see that my Google Chrome is ready for an update. There's a possibility that this update is going to clear the cache or any other Windows update could clear the cache of your browser. Or let's say you even change to a different browser besides, I'm, I'm using Google Chrome right now, but let's say you change from Edge to Chrome or you switch from one browser to a different one and it's going to prompt you when you first come into Easel to set up your machine and go through this process. And when you go through the setup machine process, unfortunately, there's currently not an option to select any of these upgrades. And as a result, when you go through the setup function, it pushes the default XCARV settings back to your machine. So when you have followed the instructions for your upgrade and you change these two settings appropriately, Easel just changed it back for you. Which means that instead of driving at one fifth the scale, it's gonna drive five times what it's supposed to. So what will happen is your Z will lift more than it's supposed to likely hit the top end stop. And then when it comes over to the material, moving on the X and Y, comes over to your material to the right position to plunge, and it's going to plunge five times or more because it just ran at the top stop. So it's gonna plunge even more than five times, more than what you programmed to do in Easel. And you're not gonna have any idea that this happened until you run your first carve after doing this machine setup. Does that sound good? It's happened to quite a few people already. This was just the Z-axis we discussed. The same inherent flaw exists in the other upgrades. Uh, when you change your belts to the nine millimeter belts, there's also a step to change that data as well. And that's going to change the gear ratio that it drives the X and Y axis left and right, front to back. So that is the 100 and 101 values that are changed in this upgrade kit, that's the X and Y. So if you perform both of these upgrades, and then you ever have to go through and reset up the machine from this step, it's gonna push the default information to your machine and it's no longer gonna drive around the correct way and you're gonna have crashes, guaranteed. Until they add an option in here that includes whether or not you have these upgrades or Inventable stops this setup from actually pushing Gerbil setting data to your machine. So keep in mind, anytime you have to reset up machine, you'll have to go back in to the machine inspector and change these values accordingly. So in here under machine inspector is where you would set those values for your 100, 101, and 102 for that upgrade. And I believe the dollar sign three if you need to invert your stepper motor position. Now mine is currently set up and plugged into a different CNC. So disregard the number you see on the screen right now. However, this is the screen where you would come in to change those values. Anytime you have to reset up your machine via the setup machine process, you will need to come back into this machine inspector and update those settings. Thank you guys for checking out this video. Make sure you watch this one next.